Hey guys, Tel17 here, and today I'm having a look at Invisible Ink. Now, this is a game that recently came out, somewhere near August 21st. It's a stealth game which you can compare a little bit to XCOM and possibly Xenonauts. Except that you're not fighting aliens, but you're trying to do corporate espionage and steal government documents. Now, I found the tutorial a little bit lacking, so I'm going to start my own tutorial series. For this I'm going with story mode, and now this game might still change a bit, it's early access. I haven't unlocked all of the characters yet, I haven't unlocked all of the bonuses yet you can get here. But right now I'm going with the standard setup, which is Deckard. This is a guy which has good movement and a stealth rig, cloaking rig, which can render him invisible. And Internationale is a good hacker with a wireless interface to hack stuff through a wall. Now I found that the tutorial of the game explains how you can move about your forces, how you can move about your agents, but they're not that good at explaining how the game really works. So I'm still trying to feel my way through the game, or more or less fail my way through the game, because more often than not I'm not even making it past the second level. So I'm going to play this really easy, really slowly, and explain every step I do, so that you too can play this game to the best of your ability. Now this is the first welcome screen. I'm going to have 72 hours to prepare for my final mission. You welcome back, Operator. Map, Incognito is picking up some strange patterns in the global market. Now, we don't sure know what it all means yet, but it's accelerating. We should prepare for a major action in the coming days. This Once won't be easy. Target, Our resources are stretched level. thin. And I've lined up some lucrative contracts and targets of opportunity that we can exploit dispatch. to better our position. I'll let here. you choose the missions as you see guarded. fit, but be careful. We can't afford another setback right now. usually has an agent incarcerated, and if you can break this agent out, it's going to uh, join your team. Over here we have an FTM vault, which is a vault which contains a lot of credits. So if you're stuck on credits, you can get this level. Over here in Kansas City we have an MT FTM server farm, which is basically a mission where you can get a lot of different goodies. And over here near Vancouver we have another KO vault, which means more money for us. Right now I'm going with the KO vault. I don't need any additional operatives at this point, so I'm going to infiltrate this building. We have a chance to settle an old score. There's a gap in their security coverage at this here, facility. Credit reserves. There have been anomalous Except financial transactions so coming from this facility. Keep your eyes for peeled for a credit vault. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll send their regional map. Now the start of the game is usually easy because the security level, which you see here, is low. Every turn you make, the security level is going to go up, and the more it goes up, the more difficult the game gets. Until it gets up to level 6, and that is where it gets stuck. So at this point, at level 6, there's not going to be any more guards coming in, there's not going to be any more elite enforcers coming in, and you can just casually or more or less casually go through the level without having to be alert for any more security measures. Now as you can see here, I have two of my agents here and right now I'm in a zone which I cannot see very well in. So I'm going to play this very very carefully, keep a good eye on my alarm level up here and keep an eye on cameras because the moment you get spotted by a camera you are going to get two additional bars of the alarm level and this way it can fill up very very quickly and make the game very difficult very quickly. Alright, so I'm going to use Deckard. If you have an agent stuck against a wall like this and you want to peek around it, here is the peek button. Now at this point I still don't know what's around this corner, so I'm going to peek again. Now I know there's two doors and I'm going to position myself here to make sure that I can still peek because if I go over here I still have one action point. If I go over here I don't have any action points. So right here I can move and still peek through the door to see what's behind it. Now it looks to be just a general office space. I could open the door. But if there's a guard over here I don't have any action points to respond to that so I'm not going to do it right away. Next up is Internationale. For her I want to go around this corner but I cannot see it very clearly so I'm going to press Q on the keyboard and rotate the camera a little bit. 
The same practice applies to her. Peek around the corner. And right here there's no doors, so I'm going to move up to the next corner. This concludes turn one, so enter. So you see my alarm just went up. And I have the power drip incognita power, which means that over here on the top left screen I have power, 12 of 20. And you can use this power to hack all sorts of goodies in the game. Right now I'm going to move up with this guy. Always open a door first before bursting through it, but some, sometimes if you open the door you can see a little bit more. And there might just be a camera up here. Move him one square at a time, and this office is just clear. So I'm going to move to this door, peek again, and this seems to be pretty clear. So I'm going to open the door. Nothing out here, but I'm putting this guy on melee reaction, which means that if anyone comes through here, a guard, I can use the melee reaction to take him out quite quickly. Now as I hovered over these tiles, I can see this location is watched by the enemy. Unfortunately, I do not know how it is being watched, what I do know is that this sector is not being watched, which means that it might be a guard which is standing somewhere here and having a look at this region. So the next move for Deckard is going to have to be very, very careful. In the meanwhile, with Internationale, I'm moving up to this door, peeking through it, open the door. Here's another office, and here you can see two different kinds of doors. We've got one standard door, and one door with a red bar in front of it, and for opening these doors you need a pass key, which you can get from some of the guards. Now there's no threat here, so I'm going to move her up into the door frame and end my turn. Security level went up again. Now if you hit spacebar, you can switch to the hacking view, and unfortunately I cannot see if there's a camera out here yet, so I'm going to slowly move him up one more tile, and this is the guy who is spotting everything here. There's a security guard here, so let's take him out. To do this I have to move up to one tile, but this location is still being watched, so there might be another security guard out here. This means that right now I'm stuck unless I use my cloaking rig, but I only like to use this thing in case of emergency since it has an 8 turn cooldown. So I'm going to hold him here for a bit and see what Internationale can find in her sector. Park her next to the door. Scout the door. And here we can see a whole lot of security measures. We can see a turret. This turret is going to shoot at anything it can see. We have a power supply. We have a camera. And we have a console. Now these consoles can be used to hack, and if you hack a console you get 4 power. Which means that I have more power available up here to hack any of these devices. Right now I want to hack some of these devices, so I'm going to press space to go into the hacking mode. And you can see a red 1 hovering over them. That means that I can use 1 power to break, th or 2 power to break through one piece of firewall. So I'm going to use 2 power to turn off this turret. Right now it's going to be disabled. It's not going to fire at me anymore, but it will fire at others, so keep that in mind. Because the turret is now friendly, I can also see that there's something else here. And this is a console database. If you hack these things, you're going to have a bit more vision, because you can see where all the other consoles are. So you can see all of these things. I'm going to hack this thing. Now I know that there's the console here, we already knew about that one. There's a console here, which is probably in a room next to the guard. There's two of them here, so there's another room outside here, and we already knew that because there's a door over here. Now, because there's no threat of this camera, because the camera is currently off and the turret's active but friendly, I can move up into this room, and hopefully I won't receive any guards coming in. But I'm going to stick close to the walls. And Internationale's special power as a hacker is long range hacking. So I can hack this console from a couple of tiles away, press this button, and my console or my power goes back up to 13. 
Now we still have this guy's situation. I cannot move him into here because there's probably a camera or a guard. Guard would be worse. So I'm just going to back off for now. I'm going back to my original sector. And I'm going to see if there's a door somewhere here which I can use to get around this guy. Moving Deckard up further. Next we're going back to Internationale. I'm going to use her to peek through this door. Seems to be just another room. Open the door. Opening doors is also a good way to see if you attract any attention from a guard. If you do, the guard will go uh, come into this room and you can take him out with the melee reaction which I had planned earlier for Deckard, but right now there's not any reaction so I'm going to carefully proceed into the next room. And here we find the first corporate safe. Now a corporate safe is stuffed with all sorts of goodies and especially with money. On the top left screen you can see 500 credits and these 500 credits can be used to upgrade agents or buy essential gear. Now corporate saves aren't open by default and I need to unlock it so I need to hack into it. So I'm going over with the space to the other vision. Hack the corporate safe and now it's open. So I can move internationally up and you can see the hand here which means steal from the corporate safe. Gave me another $150 and I can get corporate intelligence which adds to your reputation as an agency which means that you get more XP from playing this game and you can use this to take back but it takes up a slot of infant, uh, inventory so this means I only have one empty slot now both of my agents are out of action points so I'm going to end the turn Warning, additional cameras activated okay this is bad news because now there are more cameras active I have to be more careful before all the cameras become active but it means that this room over here is probably going to be a bit more cautious now. I cannot just sne simply sneak back through it because over here this camera just went active. Now because I want to keep my escape routes open I'm going to hack into this turret or this camera and now it can no longer see me so I can safely pass through the room. Internationale is next to two doors so I'm going to use her to go to this door, peek through it this seems to be some sort of auxiliary room. Open the door and here's another corporate safe, so let's hack into that one. Move her up because it seems that there are no other units inside. And in the meanwhile we can scout out the other place with Deckard. Now if you can see here the camera, this camera is active but it's not working yet. That's what they said in the um, warning message when I went up to alarm level 1. It's not active yet and I can use this to take care of the camera right now or to get out of its range. Now I have plenty of power available so I'm going to hack the camera and peek through the door. Over here we have another camera and this camera is active so I need to hack this camera as well. There's another door here and if you hack a camera you also going to be able to see what the camera sees which means that before I hacked the camera I didn't know there was a door here but I did know that the elevator was here and the elevator can be used to go to the next level. I don't want to do that right now because Internationale is still hacking something over here and I want to see what's on this side of the room. So I'm going to have Deckard go through this door and park him next to the door so he can peek through it. Now this is the interesting part of the level because this is the corporate vault. This is where you can get a lot of money from these safe boxes, these safe boxes and these ones and there seems to be another one over here. But these rooms usually have a lot of security so make sure that you hack everything before you get into it. And right now I cannot hack everything because I only have 5 power and hacking one firewall, so one point takes me two power, so I'm going to have to be a little selective. What I do want to do is hack this terminal, because hacking this terminal will allow me to open up these two, and later on I can tap into these three units. So I want to hack this one, and I want to hack this hack, uh, laser transport. I can even toggle it on or off, so that if a guard goes through it, 
I can toggle it and the guard will get attacked by the security measures. Right now, agents are out of action points, so I'm going to save it and turn to the next round. Okay, open the door. There's only one guard here, but there is another laser emitter. This one's currently inactive, which is good news for us. If it was active and I'd have to just run up to this guard, I've been in a world of hurt because I'd have been detected by the laser emitter. So always be very, very careful if you go through a level like this. Now, we're going to say hi to this guy, and I can now tackle this guy using the takedown action, which is hidden partly behind the door action. Decker takes him out, and this means that he is knocked out for two turns, and now the laser emitter becomes active, because the guard is no longer in the way. So I'm going to hack this laser emitter, but this one is a little more expensive at two points, so I'm going to have to wait two turns before I can actually hack into it. I now need to get more power from consoles, or I need to wait until I get more power from my power drip, which is one power per turn. In the meanwhile, I can use this, uh, this time to steal this guy's valuables. He has 110 credits on him, so that's coming with me. And in uh, difference to other stealth games, this guy is going to wake up in two turns, unless you put an agent on him. Right now I'm going to keep Deckard on him and wait for this security fence to come down. But keep in mind that if I would uh, leave here, this guy would wake up in two turns and probably come after me or at least start moving about here. So if you really want to get rid of a guy, you need to shoot him and kill him that way. But this means that the heart monitor on the guard increases the security level. So right now the best option is to get him uh, knocked out like this, especially since I don't have any weapons right now, I don't have any fire weapons, firearms, so I just need to stay on top of this guy, literally. I'm going to keep Decker here and switch to Internationale, who's on the other side of the map. She's going to have a look at the other corporate safe and get another 150 bucks. Now, this door is in a different room, so I need to get out again and go around this side to get into the other room. Alarm has increased again, the guard is still knocked out, I still have one power available, which is not enough to hack this laser emitter, so I'm just going to have Deckard stay here. He's going to babysit the guard, while Internationale is going to look and see what else is out here. Doesn't seem to be a lot out here, might be an empty room. Yep, just an empty room, nothing in here. She's out of action points, switch to the next turn. Right now I have the ability to hack this laser perimeter, take that out, and now I can use Deckard to move him up to this console, and this way you can open security boxes. All of these security boxes are now open, so I can now hack into these, or sniff into these, and get some more valuables. This got me 250. This got me 270. Still have a couple of action points available and I'm going to use this time to get to the other side. Keep in mind I cannot open these yet because I still need to hack into them and I still don't have any power to do that. I also need to keep an eye on this guard who is now sleeping. He's still knocked out. So the next turn I'm going to hack into this security box, this one, get on top of the guard again, and wait for my powers to recharge to open these Voltas. Meanwhile we have Internationale over here, and she has to go back into the other rooms, and hopefully find some more valuables. Now there's still the door up here, but there's no security guard and no passkey. She only has corporate intelligence, so I cannot go through this door. Not from this side anyway, but I can go through it from this side, which I only just discovered. So next turn I'm going to move her up here. Deckard is going to do another bit of money grabbing. Into the other vault, more security boxes, and now I'm going to get on top of this guard again. Keep him knocked out. 
and wait for the power to recharge to hack into these boxes. Now this agent is going over here. Fortunately she ran out of action points. Security level 2, more firewalls. Now this is bad news because it makes hacking a lot more difficult. The additional firewalls immediately impact Decker because now these security boxes don't cost one but two points to hack into. So I'm going to have to wait longer or move out here to take out these boxes. Hack into these consoles. I'm going to do that and before I'm going to do it I'm going to leave the room, close the door because this blocks the line of sight and go over to this room, open the door and I immediately find another camera. The camera also has two security measures so that means that I cannot access it right away. So we're going to access it once and I'm out of power again. Meanwhile, Internationale might be able to find something else. Get her next to the door. Peek through the door. And there's another corporate vault, but it's watched by an enemy. The vault also has two defenses, so I need to wait until I get this back up again. Right now, I could attack this guy if I wanted to, but that's going to take me points. And I only have three action points available. Now the best way I've found to attack anyone is to make sure you have enough action points available and only then attack them. Three points is cutting it close, so since I'm not in a rush right now, I'm going to leave this guy here for now and take him out in the next turn. This guy woke up again. As you can see, he's back on his feet and he's now wondering what the hell happened to him. I don't have enough power to hack any security cameras, so I'm going to take out this guy. Luckily there's no other security cameras nearby. So I'm going to walk up to him, knock him out, and steal his stuff. This guy has a pass card, which comes in handy. And he has 80 credits, so that's more money for me. I can now open this door. Don't bother with these doors because they're not leading anywhere. This is where the reinforcements usually come from. And right now I'm going to drag this guy over to the vault. So that I can keep him under wraps a bit closer to the vault. Deckard is stuck here with all his action points. I could try to move him past this camera using the cloaking rig. But I don't know what's out here. If there's a guard out here watching this sector, I'm going to be pretty much screwed. So I'm going to wait. Right now I have enough points to hack this camera. I could go after this vault, but that's not the priority. I want this camera out of the way so I can hack these. Because these will give me back 4 power. At least that's what I would like to do. But now there are two turret, or there's a turret in my way. So I cannot do anything at this point. All I can do is wait for more power. In the meanwhile, Internationale can move to this corner. I can drop the guard right here, but I want to get him into the corner behind the vault. Now dragging someone around takes up a lot more action points. So I cannot drag him as fast as I could normally walk. Put him here, drop the body and wait for some action points. That's the game. Okay, right here we now have Deckard who is facing a guard right around the corner. I'm going to lure this guard to me. So I'm going to put him on melee reaction. Close the door. The guard is going to notice that. And the guard is next going to this location. You can see this by the shield tile, which is indicated in red with an exclamation mark. That's what the guard is going to be investigating next. At which point he's going to get knocked out by Deckard. Internationale is still waiting out here. She cannot do much without power either. So right now I'm going to prioritize getting out this turret. Which means that I'm still two turns away from that. One more guard has entered the building. This guard's in out of plane again. I 
cannot do anything at this point, so I'm just going to wait. But what I do know is that there's a guard out here. Well, that was close. This is troubling. There's a guard out here. And this turret is going active, and he's going after the guard. Now, this guard gets killed, it's going to mean that the alarm, because of the heart monitor, is going to go up. Unfortunately, I cannot disable this turret right now. I should have taken out the power supply. So there's not a lot I can do to protect this guard. The only thing I could do is run up to him and knock him out cold. So that's what's going to have to happen. This guard doesn't carry anything. I can only drag him and I cannot steal from him. So I'm just going to wait here. And now we have Deckard over here, who has finally got enough points to disable the turret. The turret is now, or the power supply of the turret is now inactive, which means that the turret itself is inactive. So now Deckard can finally move up here. Keep in mind that as you go through here, you need to close the door behind him. So otherwise this guard is going to wake up and come after Deckard. So this gives me free power. Go up to the other side, give me more power. And now I can use this power to hack this for a corporate vault to make sure that she can get in. And over here I'm going to spend some points on the security boxes. So as you can see with this game it's really important to strategize when you're going to do something. Because the order in which you use your agents can really impact the gameplay. Okay, still in the corporate safe, got another 380. Now this car is going to wake up, and he's going to start looking around. I cannot use my neural disruptor to knock him out again, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful and try to get out here as soon as I can. Meanwhile, Deckard can start moving back. I'm going to have him stop on top of this guard for now. And next turn I'm going to move through this door, lock the door, or at least close it, and have a look into these strong boxes. What happened? As you can see, this guard woke up, and this guard is going to wake up the next turn. Unfortunately, this guard isn't doing anything yet. He is still looking the other way, so that means that I can use this time to get her out here safely. Go through the door, close the door, and get the hell out. Deckard is also going through the door, closing the door behind him, getting into the next room and also closing this door. And we're going to push up him as close as I can to the vault boxes. I have two more power. This thing. Agents out of action, so let's go. Now my plan for the rest of the game right now is to have Internationale move all the way up here, knock out this guard on her way through, and get to the elevator. While Decker is going to uh, clean out this region here, take everything from these security boxes, and then get to the elevator. Once we have both agents in the elevator, we can evac them into the next mission. This box is open, more stuff for me, and I can get a cultural artifact from here, which gives me more credits at the end of the mission. I don't have enough power to hack into this thing yet, it's going to take me three points extra, so that's three turns of waiting. In the meanwhile, her neural disruptor has been recharged, so I can use that. Close the door. I start sneaking her up to this guard. This game the area. A guard is about to shoot your agent. Now the question is where? Which agent is being attacked? The agent that is being attacked is this turret. Now this turret isn't actually an agent of mine, but because I hacked it earlier in the game. And the game now thinks that this is an agent, because it's working for me. Well, I don't mind them shooting this thing. It's going to 
give them something to shoot at, cause a distraction, and in the meanwhile I can get the hell out with Internationale. So I'm going to use this distraction and I cannot influence what this turret is going to do anyway. I'm going to have her move up. Next turn she can start to move up to this guy and knock him out. I have two points available, so I'm going to hack the first point of the security box. And I'm going to have Deckard right up against this door, so that if anyone comes up with a bright idea to go through the door, he's going to knock them out. Now this turret is probably going to get shot. I don't mind. The turret has served its purpose as a distraction and it hasn't killed hey, anything. Investigating. Checking it out. Over here this guard is looking the other way, which could give Internationale the perfect opportunity to take him down. If only she had enough action points. She doesn't, and I know that the guard is going here next. So what I'm going to do is set her up here. This way the guard is going to walk by her, get into that room, while I can go through here, close the door, and get into the elevator. To make sure that I have some defense if this guy comes in anyway, I'm going to put her on melee reaction, while I have Decker to do the same on this area. This game the area. As expected, the guard went in there, which is perfect. And over here we can now see a special unit, which is an enforcer. Now, these guys are very dangerous, they have better machine guns than the guards, they're a lot faster, so these guys can really get the drop on you if you don't keep an eye on where they are. They only start at alarm level 4, and unless you get to alarm level 4 early in the game, you don't really have to worry about these yet. Okay, Internationale is going through here. Close the door. Now, keep in mind that if you close a door next to a guard, he's going to either hear it or see it, which means that you're going to get detected. This door was far enough, so he didn't hear anything. Move her up towards the elevator, and have Deckard hack the final area. Move him up to the strong box, and get even more money. Now I can also get another culture artifact, but I don't have any inventory space, but I do have a ton of money. So I'm going to upgrade my inventory, and take the cultural artifact with me. Actions are out of, or agents are out of action points. These red tiles on the floor indicate where the security guards are going next, and I really don't mind them all the way going all the way over here, because the elevator is out here, and this means that I can quickly get my agents out safely. So that was the mission. I explored 84% of the map. Got a new credit total of 2500, which is a whole lot of money. I normally don't get this much, but this was a very good playthrough. And I can now continue on to the next mission. At this point I'm going to stop the video because I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to continue on with the next video in a normal gameplay video. If you have any questions about how to play the game, please let me know in a comment below and I'll try to help you as best I can. And if you have any suggestions on how I could have done this mission better or where I could have gotten a little bit extra cash, please let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit like, and if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and good luck playing Invisible Ink.